Very proud, kids. But the ruthless demonization doesn't stop with our current political leadership because what the left wants is a total transformation of our country, the remaking of our history. Enter stage left, their new socialist poster child who's not only claiming that FDR's New Deal was racist, but that Ronald Reagan was racist too. I think a perfect example of how special interests and the powerful have pitted white working class Americans against brown and black working class Americans is Reaganism in the 80s when he started talking about welfare queens. Mm -hmm. He's painting this like really resentful vision of essentially uh, black women who were doing nothing that were sucks on our country. And to think I didn't know that the word sucks could be used as a noun. Hmm. Learn something new every day. Well, and to think that they actually lined up around the block to hear that searing intellect. Well, with such gratuitous meanness about one of the most beloved presidents of the past 50 years, the South by Southwest Festival should be renamed, I don't know, the Mouth and Mouth Worst Festival. And as we've documented here in The Angle, week after week, month after month, there is a concerted, across-the-board effort in the Democrat Party to demonize the entire American experience and the American tradition by degrading anyone and anything that doesn't pass their own radical muster. Now, remember, the it kids of the moment, they could be the leaders of tomorrow, God help us, so it's important that we not merely dismiss these episodes. In fact, Anyone interested in preserving our freedom and our free market, not to mention the historical record, must use these moments to teach a new generation the truth about the country we love, our triumphs, and the tragedies that we should learn from.